I knew someday the day would come. We just had to not give in to despair. We just had to hold on to the little bit of hope left. We have, ladies and gentlemen, we have Dong and Rumpa figures coming out. And we're not just talking like a few, like the other pop up ray ones that are gonna be coming out over the next couple years or months or whatever. No, we literally have just revealed like four Dong and Rumpa figures in the works. This is. I, I could I could not be more stoked for this. We literally go like si like this franchise literally went like six years without getting a figure, a re-release of uh, some things here and there, but really no new figures for like six years straight, and then suddenly they drop four on us. I am just this is this it's it's back. It's happening. The sales for the pop up parade Jugo and Oshima must have just been absolutely insane. Like Good Smile was just like holy shit. People still want Tigerama figures. Let's fucking get to it because uh, we're literally printing money right now with this damn Jugo and Oshima pop uh, pop pop up parade figure. So yeah, I mean to go over in case you haven't heard already, we are getting a Nendoroid of Jugo and Oshima. Which fuck yes, you guys know Jugo is my favorite character. I'll buy anything that has Jugo's face on it in a fucking heartbeat. Um, so we're getting that. We're getting two. Kaide figures. One of them was already previously known. It's the Fat Company one, which is the same company that makes this absolutely gorgeous Chiaki one. So I have nothing but uh, I have nothing but uh, extremely high expectations for that Kaide figure. I'm very, very, very excited. Needless to say, I will be getting all of these. Um, uh, yeah, it looks really fucking amazing. We did have a prototype image, but now we have colored images of it, which means hopefully it will be up for pre-order sooner rather than later, which would be very, very, very nice. I have been saving money up for that because I know it's going to be dropping soon. So, very, very, very exciting there. We also have another Kaide figure. It's a good day to be a Kaide fan, especially because we have another Kaide figure to complete the trifecta of, uh, of uh, bunny best girls that they did. They did a Kyoko, they did a Chiaki, and now they are capping it off with a Kaide. So that is very, very cool. I still have not gotten my hands on the Kyoko and the Chiaki ones. I do really want them. They look amazing, and it would certainly be absolutely awesome to have like all three of them on top of my Dogon Rampa shrine here. That'd be so, so cool to have all three of them up there because they're really big figures. Those are quarter scale figures like just to give you a uh just to give you a little uh, taste of what you're going to be looking at there this is my quarter scale jason Voorhees from friday the 13th big friday the 13th fan personally uh yeah this is the scale you're looking at with those bunny girl figures these are the scale that uh freeing makes their bunny girl figures at they are a quarter scale figures and to be honest i don't really care much about the bunny girl aesthetic or anything like that but i just want dog and rumble figures like <laughs> i just i will literally buy any dog and rumble figures that come out like there is absolutely no fucking uh no fucking like pattern on any of it. And the final thing that was revealed is we did get a look at the pop-up parade at Kyoko Kirigiri. Now, we knew this one was coming. Uh, this one was uh, confirmed quite a while ago when they revealed Junko, um, but uh, it looks really good. I was kind of worried about uh, about Kyoko and Chiaki because with, with, Na with Nagito and Junko, they put them in the pose of their standard, um, like, uh, like uh, their official artwork from the game in the opening, uh, well, not in the opening, just like the standard, like, kind of artwork that was drawn for the characters like Nagito and Junko are both in their signature pose and I think it works for Nagito and Junko but Kyoko and Chiaki I was a little worried about because Kyoko is literally like in her in her concept art she's literally like I don't know like flying off to the side here and this it's kind of weird looking and I'm like I really don't want this figure to be like super unstable that always worries me when figures are like that if it's like a if it's literally like standing on one one leg and like the whole mass of the figures over here I'm like did that really sustain that but no we are uh, they they are are actually doing a completely different thing so it's not going to be following the same thing as the uh as the Nagito and the Junko she's just in a kind of a standard pose I was kind of hoping maybe we would get some kind of like cool like kind of like detective pose like this maybe the hair like bellowing in the wind that would have been very cool although it wouldn't really make any sense because they're trapped in a high school there ain't no wind in a you know <laughs> there ain't no wind in a I mean a homicidal high school um but still very very cool nonetheless obviously I will be getting this I fucking love Kyoko just as much as the next 10,000 people uh very awesome and of course the Chiaki one is is still in the works. I'm kind of glad the Chiaki one was saved for last because as much as I love Chiaki, I do already have an amazing Chiaki figure. So I kind of have a, a, a already kind of have Chiaki covered in the collection. Obviously, I'm still 100% gonna get it. Like, don't even fucking don't even fucking add me. It's absolutely gonna happen. But pretty pretty happy that it is going to be saved for last. So I'll get all the other characters first because I really want a Nagito figure, man. I really fucking want a Nagito figure. But yeah, uh, this is the most exciting thing in the world. I, I cannot believe this is happening. Four figures, literally. Four figures were revealed today. Well, four, well, th three figures, and uh, we got painted pictures of a figure that we already knew was coming. But, and I guess one of them we did also know was coming. But still, 
J Nendoroid Jugo Enoshima, that is probably the big highlight for me. Oh, actually, no, I think the Kaide, the Bunny Girl Kaide actually might be the highlight for me because it just looks really fucking awesome. And I'm glad I'll be able to finally get one of those because I really want the Kyoku and the Chiaki, but they're very difficult to find. So you can get bootlegs, but uh, I don't know, I'm a little I'm a little hesitant to buy bootlegs personally, but uh, they, they are pretty rare, the official ones anyway. Um... But yeah, the Junko Nendoroid, I cannot wait to see that. I really hope they go all out with it. I mean, it's a Nendoroid, so they almost certainly will. Like, Nendoroids, that, that's the whole thing with Nendoroids. They include so many accessories. I hope there's, like, alternate faces so you can recreate all of her different personalities. Maybe some fucking hands like this so you can give her the fucking, ah, Junko fucking Enoshima. You can put her in that pose. That'd be really fucking cool. Uh, you can give her maybe, like, a T, maybe she can have an alternate head that has the one ponytail so you can recreate the teacher sprite and the glasses and all that. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, maybe like uh, a crown that you could put on her head. I know that uh, the way the me the Nendoroid Megamine worked, what it had was it had like this little plastic tab that you would just slot in between the hair and uh, the, the the head sculpt and the hair. So I, I maybe that they could do that for like the crown for you could have Queen Junko looking upon all the plebeians. <laughs> uh, just awesome, man. I, I, I think I've gone out enough. Uh, I just really wanted to make this video because I am just absolutely stoked for this. Like, this is so fucking exciting. As someone who loves it, Dog and Rumpa, to hell and back, literally their fucking favorite thing on earth, basically. I, I cannot believe this is happening. I literally, uh, I remember, like, what was it, like a year ago, I was literally, like, like, sitting there, like, am I ever actually gonna own a Tongan Rampa figure? I love this franchise so much. I literally love this franchise so much. I'm so obsessed with it. And am I ever gonna have, actually have figures? Because they're all so rare and so expensive. And I was just like, I don't know if I'll ever actually have them, because it seems like, I became a fan too late, and now it seems like all the figures are passed, and now they're all really hard to find, but now, Rejuvenation, rejuvenation. Oh man, it's so great. So, my final little thoughts on this, guys. If you love Dong and Rampa, just like I said in the Pop Up Parade Junko figure review, please support these figures because the fact that we're getting these, the reason we're getting these is because Good Smile is seeing all of these figures are being made by Good Smile. Fat Company is actually owned by Good Smile, I believe. So, Good Smile is making all of these, so if you continue to support the Junko and when the Nagito pre-orders drop, if you support that as well and we get these figures and we make these figures very profitable for them, they will give us more. And I want more so badly. I want so many more characters than just all the ones that get figures all the time. I love Junko and Nagito and Chia and Chiaki and Kyoko. I love them so much. They're four of my favorite characters. All four of them are in my top ten favorite characters. Junko is my favorite character. But I love a lot of other characters too. I love Toko. I personally fucking love Toko Fukawa. I would love a Toko figure. I would fucking kill for a Toko figure. Uh, the Celeste would be awesome. Aoi Asahino would be awesome. Especially to go with my new Sakura figure I just got. Um, anything from V3, Samugi would be awesome, Korekio, Shuichi, although there is a Shuichi figure out there, but, um, anything, like, Kokichi, Kaito, Maki, there are so many characters that I want a figure of, and I think there's more hope than there ever has been. How funny is it that this figure of this woman who cares about, who only cares about despair and hates hope with a burning passion, gave us all the hope in the world for new Dog and Rapa figures. How ironic. I love you so much, Junko. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This is DK Gozine, signing out.